Picture this, a bunker that resides under the water. Its defenses impenetrable. And its entrances are some of the coolest sh I've ever seen. That was the reality for me. Living in a base that was awesome. But how did I get here? Well, on a Tuesday before four swipe, I found a YouTube video showcasing this design. The base intrigued me so much that I decided to build it for a monthly wipe. At that moment, during that decision, I was oblivious of the long, long journey ahead of me. So the anticipated four swipe finally came. I spawned at E21. My ideal build spot was B22 because it was right next to an underwater lab. Okay, so all we need to build the base is 2,700 wood, 8,000 metal frags, and 350 high wall. Shouldn't be that bad, right? 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 Okay, let's get some stones. We can make a hatchet. Now let's get some wood. Oh my god, it's turning night. Literally the worst timing ever. Oh, I think this is thatch. Somebody probably... Let's see. Ooh, okay, okay. Although while it is night, I should probably farm some more stone. Okay, that should be enough stone. Time to get some wood. Okay, I am right next to where I want to build, so I'm gonna make a starter 2x2. Two two. This will act as a placeholder base until I get enough resources to build my bunker. Oh, it's so perfect. Alright, really quick, I'm gonna go get some low grade for furnaces. Oh, there's a little bit right here, nice. I literally ran all the way back to my 2x2. Two two. Okay, with that done, we need to get a tier 1, so let's go run junkyard. Oh, there's a naked here. Kind of feel bad, you only have a spear, poor guy. Although it is four swipe. Oh, he has some juice. Yeah, I'll pick you up, man. I'll pick you up. Okay, man. Thank you. Wait, on his head, is that today's sponsor? Today's video is sponsored by the greatest mobile game of all time, Raid Shadow Legends. If you didn't know, Raid now has over 600 champions, each of which come from different factions enriched by their own unique history in the world of Teleria. Out of these factions, my favorite would be the High Elves. Their backstory is pretty awesome. Their homeland, Aravia, has been around for thousands of years, surviving the fall of the Lizardman Empire. The Elves helped the humans form into civilizations and defeated the orcs when they formed a huge horde and attacked the continent. But then things got twisted when Seroth, the Lord of Darkness, convinced a bunch of elves to turn evil and attack the kingdom. The civil war nearly ended the elves. But Aravia survived, rebuilt, and now it's stronger than ever. With that, there's a ton happening in Raid this month. They're bringing out five new champions, they're overhauling the champion vault, and they've got a load of awesome smaller updates as well. On top of that, Raid's running a huge series of summer splash events for the whole month, where you can get some incredible skins for the dwarf Trunda. Oh, and one more thing, make sure you get it now if you want to be a part of it. Right now is the best time to get started in Raid, and if you click my link in the description or scan my QR code, you'll get a bonus of $30. Now, back to the video. I just want to get 50 scrap and get out of here, bro. Oh, damn. There's some people here. There's only two of them, but they both have bows, so this might be a little bit of a tough fight, but... Eh, I'm gonna take it. Oh, purpose. I think his friend's dead. Nice. Oh, my God. This guy's ratty now. Little rat. Oh, my God. He's in there. <laughs> eh, these guys had kind of trash loot, but I guess I have more bow kits, so that's good. All right, let's head home. Nice. 30 minutes in, and we already have a tier one. Sweet. Now that I had my base properly situated, it was time to start grinding for all the resources I need for the bunker. My plan was to run labs since my base was literally right next to it. But first, I needed to buy a scuba kit from Fishing Bill. So I crafted a crossbow, a nail gun, and got to work. I need about 60 scrap to buy a full diving kit at Fishing Village, so that should be fun. <laughs> I actually hate looting monuments at night, bro. Oh, it's like we should definitely have enough scrap by now, so that should be good. I got a little extra scrap to take home to my boyfriend. God, I've been watching too much Stimpy. Okay, now we can run labs. Sweet. All right, let's depot this and let's go. Okay, so we'll need to get this many resources and right now we don't have that much, but let me show you why I chose to build right next to underwater lab. Since the server just wiped and it's full pop, the crates will respawn ridiculously quick. It's especially good since I am solo and can hold it easier than any other monuments. It's also very good because majority of the crates on this labs are military grade, even though they look a little different. And just like that, in 20 minutes solo on wipe day, on a full pop server, I was loaded. Very successful first run. I can literally swim back to the labs from the foot of my base. 
I will say these scientists do hit very, very hard. After clearing out those scientists, I found the first gun of my wife. Using this, I spammed labs until I got a tier two workbench. All right, that should be enough for tier two. And now I'm gonna go recycle. Dude, I actually might be able to have a tier three after this, bro. Definitely not a bad recycle run. I think that we can definitely get all the resources today. Oh my God, labs is so broken. I was definitely in a good place and on pace to get all the resources for my underwater bunker. Although while swinging back to labs, I did notice some new competition. You can barely see it, but there's like a like a two by two that just popped up right next to my base. Since my area was getting more populated, I decided to try and be quick with my lab. So after 10 minutes, yes, this is all from 10 minutes of work on vanilla, I decided to depot and recycle. I love how I can just swim to my base, it's so cool. Wait, what gun is that? <laughs> what? Recycle rank in a way, I gotta, I gotta see what this is. <laughs> I have a little shack. I guess I do live on a naked beach, so. Oh, I hit one. Oh, okay, they are pushing me. <laughs> Do you have a pipe? <laughs> oh my god, he did. Ooh, he actually did have some juice on him, nice. Wait, he's not dead? Oh, now he is. Another pipe. Yeah, these guys are definitely rats. <laughs> From where? Oh my god, dude, these are my bozo neighbors. Come bearing gifts, gifts, gifts. I have gifts. Make a play, Wood and stone. Wood and stone. Holy shitter, dog. Sorry, bro. I'm so paranoid, huh? Sorry, man. Sorry about that. <laughs> you have a me, you I don't think my neighbors are very uh, nice. All right, let's go for a cheeky recycle run now. Damn. Rapid fire. This guy sounds like an NPC. I shoot <laughs> twice like that. That was impressive. I'll give him a, I'll give him a little little gift. Thank you, sir. I'm your neighbor. I won't fuck with you. Okay, thank you, man. Here, take this too. That guy's definitely an NPC. <laughs> After getting to know the area a little better, I went to Fishing Village to buy a boat to help assist with lab runs. Sweet. I can also use this for cargo as well. I was three quarters of my way towards my goal. I would probably only need one or two more lab runs to gather all the materials for the bunker. So I definitely didn't want to die on this trip. Oh shit, I think somebody's here. Let's go! But I honest, <laughs> how did my python not break? It's literally like two shots away from breaking. An extra kit and SAR? Oh, I'll take it, I'll take it. They actually hit so many meds, bruh. All right, sweet. That should be all the high wall done for my base. All I needed now was metal to be able to start constructing for my base. I also learned that my friend B. George was on the server as well. You've probably seen him in this, this, and this. So naturally, I told him he could build next to me. He'd also be a help in farming resources because George, offense, is a big farmer. Bot. So it would definitely be helpful to have. Them. Oh no, you got the wood shack farm base. Oh yeah, George, stay clear of this base, by the way. I forgot. They're a little aggressive. Careful, there's a guy behind the base. He's dead. Okay, never mind. George Giga Chad? Dude, left one door open though. Oh, that looks kind of cancer though. Okay, we should probably go before they all. Oh. You said shot? There's another on me. Nice. Okay, yeah, he's part of the base's group. Those little rats. Did you check the other guy's name? Gumbo Po Boy. Jesus, these guys are that deep in this small base. There's like at least six. After that skirmish, George and I went to go farm, but our neighbors weren't too happy after that last fight. I'm, de I'm dead. There's two people outside my base. Oh, uh, God. I think they're trying to raid your farm base right now, George. Oh, this ain't good. Oh, they're also camping my base, too. How convenient. Nice. Bruh. What is this? Is that a revolt? What gun is that? Oh, my. There's at least six. They're at least six deep, bruh. I, I think they're already through your first door. Killed a Revy? There's actually so many. Bro, how deep are these guys? All right, George, I'm bringing out the star. Killed a naked with a DB. Killed one. Just one tap. Oh, wait, they weren't raiding your front door. You still have a front door. DB is dead. Your base is safe. All right, sweet. Easy base defense. After that successful base defense, our neighbors quieted down a lot. So I took advantage and used that time to farm and sort, prepping to build the bunker. I didn't realize how absolutely absurdly loaded I am. Oh my god. I got the furnaces going and took a break. What I came back to 
made my heart sink. Oh my god, that got big. What? Oh my god, they got a furnace base too, bruh. I'm surprised they haven't raided me or George yet. Okay, well, anyhow, I should probably build my bunker base now, because this is scary. <laughs> I need a main base. Okay, I just need a little bit more metal, and I should be good. Okay, let's just get some wood. Nice. Okay, now I just have to find a spot in the water that's deep, but not too deep. Perfect. Let's place foundations. All right, that should be the footprint done. By the way, you can like kind of see underwater labs if you look close from here. <laughs> now let's do the walls. That should be the bottom layer done. Nice. Okay, now to make the actual bunker. Hitting stuff underwater sounds weird. Okay, sweet. Bunker is done. And all we have to do is the top fuck. Into the water, into the water, into the water. Ah! Bro, they're really about to sh No, shot they shoot it, please. That shit's sexy looking. Oh, scuba man. <laughs> that kind of sucks, but it could be a whole lot worse. Well, it doesn't look like they broke too much, so I think we're good. All right, let's do this top part now. All right, let's start upgrading. All right, sweet. I think that's all. Put TC back here. Look at that. We actually have a little extra. <laughs> all right, base is now safe to depot in. Let's go. So now all I had to do was move my loot into the bunker. The first few transfers went good until this happened. Right, this should probably be the last transfer. Get tired of. Bro, what? What are they camping? No shot, bro. I only have a nail gun left in this base. Oh my god. I think I saw them run off this way. This cartel monkey bozo, bro. I'm gonna see if I can find where he lives. These little rats, bro. These aren't my neighbors. These are different neighbors. I, I saw them run this way. Stop, Mitchell. Stop. I just saw one run out of that water base, bro. Uh, let's go. I found their base. To my north, I had Cartel Monkeys group. And to the east, I had Gumbo Poboy and Balake's group. And all of them were going for my throat. So I had to act and raid somebody tonight. Strategically, I chose to raid Cartel Monkeys base. Because it wasn't as big and I could get my stuff back from raiding them. Also, they were little rats. I just wanted to get rid of them. So I got my tier 3 down in the bunker and farmed some sulfur. Okay, that should be enough. Also, this is what the bunker base looks like fully built. And this is how I get into it. The only way you can enter is getting pushed by that door, bro. This is so sick. Okay, let's get this sulfur cooking. All right, I think I have enough. Oh, I can craft so much Explo. With the Explo crafted and my SARS ready to boom, it was time to get that sweet revenge. All right, let's do it. I think it goes to the right. Okay, boxes. Ooh, some juice, some juice. All right. I think I'm gonna go through this stone wall next. Okay, furnaces. Hey, from the little rat. I was right. He lives here. All right, let's continue raiding. TC. TC. Hey. All right. Had a little bit of juice. Not too loaded though. The raid had been a success, and Cartel Monkey had been wiped off the map. However, I still had to worry about our friends in the east. Velo, George's teammate, messaged me on Discord about our good old neighbors causing trouble at their boat base. Those guys on the hill built a boat base right next to us. Yeah, I see it. I'm right next to it right now. How many were there? There's about six of them. Hey, you know what? Bring over some Expo and spoon it right now. Right now. Right now. Get in, get in, get in, get in, go, go, go! That beast behind us is shooting at us. He opened. Woo! I'm deep, I'm deep, I'm deep. Bro, they have no metal frags to seal. There is so many people outside. I need I need you to get back right now. I, I need help. Bro, they're pushing up and I have no metal frags. Oh, this is so doomed. Oh, no. Yeah, no, this is lost. Velo and I were outnumbered, resulting in us losing the raid on their boat base. This is what they had to say about it all. Yo, get, get fucked, Mitchell. Yo, get fucked, boy. Yo, get fucked, boy. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, bro. These guys are robots. What? I couldn't fight these guys with just me, George, and Velo. 
I needed more people. So in an attempt to recruit more members, I invited my friend Koala, the best minicopter pilot in Rust, to join my group. He also brought his friend Killer Claw's second best minicopter pilot in Rust to join as well. I unknowingly was starting to form a village of sorts. And not even before I could invite them to the team, this happens. Bro, I'm just farming wood and these guys keep on grabbing me. Fusion, can you come help? Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. So. I hit one a bunch. One's dead, one's dead. Nice, nice. I'm hella exposed right here. Hit one twice right side. Oh my god, he's loaded. He's actually. What? We're gonna have to raid those guys tonight, or we're gonna be the ones who are gonna get raided. The group in the east was growing rapidly. We needed to stunt their growth by raiding them and taking control of our area. They were our only competition, so raiding them would be the only logical option. It would save us from offlines and, more importantly, allow me to live in my underwater bunker a little bit longer. So I got the rest of my sulfur cooking and used the scrap to research rock. It was time to cleanse our area. All right. Here we go. Air move, 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 move. Oh, box is already sweet. Uh, should we just go corner? Block corner? Right. Oh my god. It's open? Alright, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up, back up. Oh, GG easy. Oh my comps. All right, all right, watch out, watch out, watch out. Can we check if this is a bunker? Look out, look out. Oh, yep. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, wait, where the hell is TC then? No, 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 it's a bunker, it's a bunker. Bruh, no shots. Yeah, the stability is 13% stable on those armor moves. Holy shit. Wait, this is actually such a cool bunker. What? Oh, yeah. Let's go. What? Okay, a little bit. Ooh. Okay, a little bit of loot. They have so many bags in here as well. Oh my god. Come on, get Discord. We want the experience. Who's an OTV player now, stupid bitch? <laughs> Too easy. All right, here, take this, finish the raid. Uh, that's about all I got. Let's go, baby. We did it. We raided them. GG's, boys, let's go. We did it. GG's, boys. We did it. We had won our area. Although, I could say the same about a dozen other groups on the server. We didn't know it yet, but we were tiny fish in a massive, gigantic pond. This was just the beginning. If you guys enjoyed this video, stay tuned for the next one because this is the first in a long and tedious series. So if that video hasn't come out yet, watch me code raid on console rust. It was a really good video. You should watch it.